His name, Walid bin Talal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The 49-year-old prince regularly features on the covers of magazines all over the planet. He's the fourth richest man in the world. He built this skyscraper as a symbol of his enormous economic of his enormous economic empire. At 302 meters, the Kingdom Center is the tallest building in the Middle East and Europe and is one of the tallest in the world. There's a morbid local joke that the hole at the top of Walid's tower is for avoiding aircraft. The 66th floor is Prince Walid bin Talal's global headquarters. Here, women work and walk about freely without a bias. They have prime positions and make up nearly 50% of the executive staff working for the prince. The prince's wealth is valued at $24 billion. That's about the same as the GDP of Bolivia. The prince has the wealth equal to many countries and didn't accumulate it as you would expect from oil but from investing in huge multinational corporations all over the world. Uh, you know we are a diversified company and uh, we are based in Saudi Arabia and our portfolio covers many countries in the world, actually more than 120 countries in the five continents. And uh, we are involved in more than uh, 1,000 companies that, and with the subsidiaries, it could be 3,000 4,000 companies. Um, and all these companies are big and, and uh, performing very well. Um, as for the size of the wealth, uh, I think this is, is pretty much circulated in the market, so I'm sure you know it. It's uh, 24 billion. They say so. Some people call it luck. I don't really call it. I don't like the word luck. No, I don't like it. My father gave me $30,000 in 1980. That's when the whole story began. And after that, uh, a lot of events took place in the last 25 years until we have uh, reached, uh, or until we were blessed by what we are blessed with right now. Prince Walid suggested we continue our conversation at his base, where he likes to work and make important decisions. It's in the desert. All of the cars in the convoy are armoured and have satellite location systems. Walid watches the international stock markets on the way from the satellite TV in front of him. He's always accompanied by his personal doctor and his personal technician, an Englishman who is ready to solve any connection and communication problems. They say that the prince is the only investor in the world who can pay one billion dollars in cash at any moment, if the opportunity is that good. We are always ready to invest in, in, in areas and uh, that potentially could be more than a billion dollars. We can invest in one, two, three, four, five billion dollars, no problem. But we are very conservative. We do our homework very thoroughly. We don't invest in areas that are risky. This is what Prince Walid means when he says, base. Huge facilities spread out in the inhospitable desert. Gigantic tents and containers offer all the comforts, along with the last word in technology. Satellite communications and direct connections with all the stock markets in the world. 
Stock progress is constantly projected over hundreds of monitors, which are everywhere. Prince Walid could also be called Mr. Citibank. This was the move that made his name internationally renowned. When the largest American bank began to fall to pieces in the early 1990s, and no one believed it would make it, a Saudi prince appeared out of nowhere. Walid invested $590 million in it. The bank was saved, and within a decade, Walid saw his money multiply 18 times over. Today, Walid has guests, a thousand of them. Simple peasants that need help, tribal chiefs, priests, and even military officers have asked to see him. The most important of these will dine with him. It's very important to keep the culture. And here in Saudi Arabia, we, are, uh, we have a very important culture, Islamic culture. And this culture has been there since more than 1,000 years. And it's very important to keep it and maintain it, yet be incorporated into the national community, yet be incorporated into the, into the globalization process, yet be incorporated into the, into, the uh, into the modernization process. We are balancing between Islamic traditions that are very important, yet you have to modernize and enter the 21st century. We have to have our voice heard, because some people at the right who are really extremists, just scream, shout with high voices. We will not scream and shout. We will fight them with reason and logic. Yes, as you know, in City Group, in, in, in News Corp now, yes, we have, uh, we have around a billion dollars there. We have now six channels, uh, sorry, we have seven channels. Big part of uh, our wealth last year was increased because our investment in, uh, in the Middle East, Far East and Africa, industrial projects. Uh, in the intimate media, uh, hospitality and hotels, uh, 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 banking through our bank called Samsung for the last five years. Walid is a member of the royal family. His father, the brother of the present king, was the black sheep of the Saud. He had socialist ideas and spoke in favour of democracy. He was punished with exile and lived for a period in Egypt. He could never have imagined that his son would accomplish such power, greater even than prescribed by his birthright. When this uh, tremendous uh, act of terrorism took place in America, we, we felt, me as being the biggest investor in New York, I thought that uh, I should really participate in alleviating the, the pressure on the families that were hit by that crime. And Mr. Giuliani, uh, the mayor of uh, New York at that time, established a fund. We approached him, we talked to him directly, and we told him of our willingness and, and wish to come to New York to contribute to that fund with a $10 million contribution. And he accepted that, he welcomed us, and he met us personally. Uh, and uh, the contribution was accepted. And the check was, uh, was, was, uh, was taken from us. Simultaneously with that, we issued press release telling the United States, we are friends. I am publicly saying I'm your friend. In, an, in a period where it's very difficult for someone to come publicly and say, I'm friend of the United States. As your friend, I'm telling you, you have to begin changing your strategies and policies in the Middle East. It's just not right to have this double standard, you know, with Israel and Palestinians. Uh, Mr. Julian did not like the statement, and he told me, as a condition of accepting the uh, contribution, he have to retract my, uh, my statement. I say, I never retract the statement, ever. So he gave back the check, we took back the check, and we just took it and gave it back to uh, other um, uh, charitable entities. As a member of the royal family and as a Bedouin, Walid must accept his guests now one by one. Overlooking the protocol, he invites the only woman here, Anastasia from our group, to sit beside him. 
The guests have already formed a line to see him. Each of them holds his request written on a piece of paper, an allowance, a favour or an amount of money. They deliver them personally. They come for various uh, reasons. Some of them ask for uh, uh, to pay their uh, the debt. Some of them to get assistance to get married. Some of them uh, would like to to, to get their uh, son or daughter to hospital or his wife. Some would like to get educated. Some of them come to say uh, hello. We will satisfy all of them. Not some of them, all of them. أبني بيوت القصيدة لين صارت لي قصور تنصهر من قلب شاعر كأنها صهر الحديد وترتسم كالوشم جيت أقدمها بنفسي شخصي ما نبغى بريد ولا نبي بيني وبين حاجز ولا جسور يا سموي يا سموك يا سموي بك يزيد يا سموك يا سمو العز قطاع في النسور We demand very high returns on investments at least 25% يا مناتي حلم شاعر في الله وعيشة رغيد يا مناتي نوم طيب ما سهر مثلي شهور يا مناتي من بحالة معتزل وحدة فريد ما وقف ديانة عنده في يساليبة يدور لك تحياتي تحية عسكري فرد العقيد تشتعل بالعود الأزرق والباخر والبخور السلام عليكم أستاذ نبو خالد يا مالك الدنيا ملكك وبسماك يا مالك الدنيا ولك من تهاها ومن بعد ذا يمير جيت اتنخاك يا ابن الملوك اللي سيوف عصاها. In business there's risk. I mean uh, if, if you do our homework in, in a good way, in professional manner, and you have good advisors, then the company uh, that you bet on uh, should not go bankrupt. يعيش من جابك وضمك ورباك امك من خيار المجاني جناها. ومن بعد ذا يمير جيت اتنخاك يا ابن الملوك اللي سيوف عصاها سيارتي جاها القطار ووطاها بحد المساحي شالها ثم رماها وابغي عوضها يا ابو خالد زبناك انا زبنت مزبني نزبناها روحي لروحك يا ابو خالد افداها ابغى استلم شيك انت وقعه يمناك هذا التقرير اللي على والدتك الجنه تقريبا حادث السيارة القطار القطار؟ ب 80000 نعم وهذا شلون القطار؟ كيف يعني؟ سيارة انكتب الله انها تعطلت على خط وصدمها القطار وقعدت لها سبع سنين اي قطار؟ ب 80000 القطار كيف؟ قطار القطار اللي على الطريق الخارجي حق الفضائح هذا دبور انت اجل ها؟ دبور اجل والله كلهم بحظه على الدنيا اعطيه سيارة اجل ها؟ اعطيه سيارة جهل طيب اعماله ينبع طيبه من طيب اصله من عمانه من خواله جد حاكم دوله مثله في شرع الله والعداله عبد العزيز وعياله من بعده مثله نعم الوالد نعم عياله يمير الله يرفع قدرك مثلك لا احتجنا انا الجاله وانا من زمان جيتك سوات اللي جولك اشتكي لك من دياني ما هو ديان المنيه سميه ديان ثاني يراقبني بقصى الحاره لين ادخل على ورعاني ذم علق بوري بالشارع وزعجني وزع جيراني ويا جيته يمسك جيبي وانا ما عندي طباني اشكي لله مشكي لك من دين جوره قزاني وانا 
ما لي بيت مبين ما لي بيت ولا مسكاني اسكن حاره واترك حاره وانقل عفشي مع غرضاني الرحاله بن بطوطه شبه اللي في ماجاني والموتر وارد عراوي رمز دايم الفقراني وظروفي مشكاها لله يا كثر همومي واحزاني تكفى 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 لا تنساني الله لا يحرمك الجنه قال خادمك الشيباني سلام <تصفيق> The prince's personal court fools are among the crowd. They always accompany him, even on his journeys abroad, on one of his two personal Boeing airliners. ونصيت وجه انا كل النحرها يردون حوض الموت The accolades and the poems lasted until the early morning hours. When the guests left, Walid continued working and watching the stock markets of the world. He sleeps at five o'clock in the morning after his first morning prayer. You know, see, sometimes uh, this today I have th around a thousand, but one night we had seventeen thousand. Uh, you shake the hand of uh, seventeen thousand people in one night. Seventeen thousand. This is a hard life. It's not an easy life. No, I mean, no. if you if you hear that someone is a billionaire, it's a. It's not hard life. You don't know. If you billionaire, uh, you respond. Uh, uh, you, you have more responsibilities. I'm not, I don't believe I'm sacrificing it. No one's forcing me to call my office. No one's forcing me to perform. No one's forcing me to work or meet these people or to get involved in charity and philanthropy. You know, I do it because I like to do it. I do it because I want to do it, not because I have to do it. Abdullah is one of the 37 sons of the founder of Saudi Arabia, King Abdulaziz Al Saud. As a charismatic Bedouin, he continued the mission which began in the 18th century by his forefathers. For the house